Okay, folks, and uh, so we're now continuing our series of interviews, and um, yeah, we're here at the Nationwide Primetime Show. As I've been saying, we're in Orlando. It's uh, red hot out there today, and um, it's red hot in here today. There's a lot going on. So I'm so happy to have uh, Tom Arndt from Whirlpool here with me today. Um, and Tom, I'm not exactly sure what your role is. I know you do an awful lot for Whirlpool. I'll give you a chance to sort of talk about that. But I do want to talk about that that rush this morning. I was actually <laughs> over there with my camera recording some of that live. Could you tell us a little bit about what the big deal that was going on over there, a little bit about the doorbusters? Yes, uh, we had a we had a great start to the show with our two-hour doorbuster specials. And, yep. uh, it was fantastic to see so many customers come in and take advantage of those specials. It was exciting. It was chaotic, as you uh, saw. Uh, the lines were long. People took advantage of great deals to sell our brands and sell them profitably and uh, grow their business. So. so I was just over there. Now, what we know about doorbusters, right, is people go, oh, yeah, doorbusters. They'll come in. They'll be gone in a couple hours. This is not the case. I can promise you. I'll go over and shoot some video again later. The people are still over there. They have like five people taking orders on this wide, you know, long table, and the orders are still piling in. This has to be like one of the best starts uh, to a convention uh, for a very long time. It just looks amazing. Yes, uh, you know, we've we've uh, we're at a good place right now. We had a great launch last year, the KitchenAid brand. It's winning in the marketplace, growing substantially. We got great programming on KitchenAid. Uh, we've got great availability. We've got great new laundry and refrigeration products. So not only do we have great programming, great availability, uh, great new products, it's, it's a combination of all that working together that's really creating the buzz. Tell me a little bit about KitchenAid, because I personally love it. I think of KitchenAid as the small appliances, as many of us do. What you have to understand, though, is that KitchenAid has really broadened out, and so you have that same great quality, that same kind of eye-catching it's, it's good to look at. Yes. Tell me a little bit about KitchenAid and what goes behind that. Uh, the KitchenAid launch last year, uh, you know, you've really got the iconic mixer. That's the number one, uh, number one product registered for when people get engaged to get married. And so it's a great introduction to the brand. Mm -hmm. Very high quality. That mixer will last forever. Yes, I have and So one. we've got the full line of appliances. And thank you for that. Yes. And so we've got the full line of appliances. We launched a brand new look. It's the number one preferred brand for remodeling. KitchenAid is in full line appliances. It, and the new look and the new styling with the chrome accents around the windows and the new black stainless that KitchenAid was first in the world to introduce. It's just been a home run hit. In our market research, it was number one preferred sweet look for a kitchen. And it's hit the floor and exceeded our expectations so it's growing everywhere across the nation all dealers are having great success with it and they're uh selling it very well customers are coming and you're and keeping it stocked you have you you're and we're in it great stocked. stock yeah so uh, you know whenever you go through a big launch of a new look for an entire brand right a transition is very difficult but once you're through that mm -hmm. it's been it's taken off and flown so Maybe what we can do is talk a little bit about what you're seeing in terms, <coughs> excuse me, in terms of um, the economy and the consumer. Um, we will first feel, in many cases, a bad economy, anything that has to do with the home. So through the recession, yes. you know, it was really tough for appliances, yeah. and it seems to me it started to build and build. But you guys get the first signals that homeowners are kind of back in. They're they're waiting back in. So what did you find overall for all the Whirlpool brands, which by the way, Maytag is under that umbrella. Um, what did you find in 2015 and, and where we are today, the first quarter of 2016? Well, we'll go back a little bit. From 2007 to 2011, the market declined 25%, the whole appliance industry. Right. So that was very tough. And then you saw it flatten out around 2011 to 2013, and then you started to see some slow growth. Last year, there was very strong growth of about 6 to 7%. We're expecting the same this year. So the builder market is growing double digits. So you're seeing uh, new home construction grow. Uh, the multifamily high rises are growing. And that creates housing turnover, remodeling projects, mm -hmm. and definitely helps the retail business to grow as well. So we're seeing that grow in a strong single digit growth rate, both last year and expected for this year. I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't usually ask um, uh, brands this, but I know, I, I know you 
will understand what this question is about. Now that we've come out of the recession, in terms of marketing, um, and even maybe you saw this even rolling out um, some new product last year for KitchenAid. What did you find was the role of social media in terms of getting and getting that message out? Was it? I, I've heard that it surprised uh, some people, uh, uh -huh. and, and that you executed beautifully on it. But still, the same. The response was like, "Wow, okay, we really are in social media now. This isn't yes. just kind of a one-trick pony." Well, social media has been a big target of uh, you know our strategy to develop brand leadership and product leadership as a world leader in home appliances and the market leader in North America. Uh, we take great pride in our brand and product leadership and we've developed new Whirlpool and Maytag campaigns. The Whirlpool Everyday Care campaign really yeah. engages customers in social media, really recognizes mothers, parents, single fathers in terms of the, the things they do in the home are caring and a show of love for their family. That's developed tremendous engagement and interaction on mm -hmm. social media. The Maytag man, not the lonely repair man anymore, mm -hmm. but the Maytag man who is the product. And he's got his own Facebook page. So his humor, one of the big uh, uh, hashtag lazy toaster was one of the big taglines uh, yes, yes. coming from the refrigeration commercial that he said that as a joke right at the end of the refrigeration TV commercial. Yes. And it becomes sort of an online online hit. Yes, so, exactly. Uh, we're seeing consumers engage with our brands online, get exposed to our brands and our innovation is great for product launches. And you know, videos to demonstrate the great performance of our products as well. We mm -hmm. take great pride in our products working, best cleaning in our mm -hmm. Maytag brand laundry. We have great engineers, great labs, uh, and really, we're very proud of being made in America. So 80% of what we sell in the U.S., we make in the U.S., that's more than twice any other company, and some companies make no products in right. the U.S. of course. So design, engineered, and assembled in the USA, uh, we're the biggest. We proudly employ over 22,000 U.S. employees, and those families, you know, help the American economy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're excited about the growing market and, uh, you know, the opportunities to get those messages out on social media. One question, tough question. A lot of dealers and even brands uh, have, have been like, you know, uh, social media can be a rough and tumble environment. You can get worked over pretty good on social media. And that has kept some people away. Talk to me about the, you know, that's just part of that you have to live with, okay? It's going to be rough and tumble, but the benefits far outweigh all of the, you know, maybe whatever criticisms you might get and turning that criticism into opportunity. Could you talk a little bit about that for yeah. me? And that's a great question, Denise. The, you know, social media is a, a blessing and a curse, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we've embraced it. Uh, our product uh, our product category, product development people, you know, they've got the star ratings in as, as part of their scorecard for successful launches. So if the consumer doesn't like it and they don't rate us well online, then we didn't meet their needs. Mm -hmm, so we've mm -hmm. got a very high bar and we're very proud. Uh, almost all of our brands across all categories are four and a half out of five stars. And so we're, we lead in that area. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of that. And that's why when you buy one of our brands, you get that home, you really get that satisfaction in performance, quiet, cleaning, energy efficiency, usability, mm -hmm. and uh, it's an important benchmark for us. Mm -hmm. But you have to, you have to embrace it, right. and you have to invite all your customers to speak out so you don't, just don't get the negative, of uh, course. negative comments as the only people that voice their opinion because we've and got such high satisfaction. Sure, and and there has to be some acceptance about what's going to happen on social media. Like, as my mother would always say, not everyone's going to say nice things. And it just is part of it. You just have to embrace it all, warts yep. and all. You have, to, you have to accept it all. We look at it as an opportunity for improvement. Uh, if we get feedback or we get someone saying there's a problem with one, we absolutely take that back to our product quality quality team yep. and our engineers to say, is there a problem? Sure. So again, you know, some things we find out uh, quickly that there's a problem and we fix it. Other things, you know, may just be someone who had a bad experience or didn't understand how to use the product sure. and we try to correct that as well. Sure. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's Maytag, Amana, uh, KitchenAid, 
uh, Whirlpool, there's another and one, and Gen Air, that I'm, they're all under the same umbrella. Yep. Um, so you have your hands full, you know, the whole company does, you know, managing all of these brands. Um, you know, what's what's kind of new? Like last year was KitchenAid, we all sort of knew that. Yep. Um, that was the, you know, the one that you brought out. What's going on in 2016? Yep. Well, you know, our brand portfolio, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, we, we acquired Maytag Corporation in 2006. Mm -hmm. We've invested in brand differentiation, so we've got very unique benefits, product, styling. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it visual brand language, so that when you look at a brand, you know it's that brand. Similar to like cars, you know what a BMW looks like when you see one on the road. Yeah. Uh, and so we've got distinct identities for each of the brands. So we're excited that we've got to that point. Now this year in 2016, we're introducing an all new uh, handle on the Maytag line with uh, fingerprint proof, fingerprint resistant uh, steel oh, right. and uh, great new professional look. And so that's a big, big hit in the booth as well as uh, some, some really landmark product innovations. The world's largest wash machine at 6.2 cubic foot, a new high efficiency top load washer. Wow. With a glass top with glass with the controls on the glass lid so it's touch controls on the glass lid nice so it's a beautiful machine big machine 32 towels we get got a demo where we drag that halfway across the show floor to show you can do a week's worth of laundry in a single load Unbelievable. Uh, and so it's that's terrific a new 32 cubic foot refrigerator with pantry shelving so it's got that great organization over 30 percent more shelving space and it's got spaces for pizza storage so you're always who's who's had a problem when you you know get a pizza you have leftover pizza and your refrigerator is filled full you have nowhere it's to very pull. awkward to store it right? says dedicated storage for that pizza That's awesome. or you know party platters or anything for entertaining and it's got that slide away shelf with pantry shelving for like the tall items so you may just have to slide it back for a little bit for that glass mm -hmm. of wine or that bottle of wine and then when you don't have that bottle of wine in there, you can slide it out and get the full shelf storage. Very nice. So we've got tremendous innovation. That's why the booth is still packed. Even <laughs> after we had our two hour specials, you That's know, right. we thought everybody might put in their orders and the booth would slow down, but it's those new products that are keeping them, That's keeping great. them there. Well, you know what, Tom, I'll let you go back to that. Uh, you're a natural at this, uh, you know. <laughs> Great at answering all of the questions, and Whirlpool brand has been around for a long time. I personally have visited um, their location, uh, the town I cannot always pronounce, it's outside of Chicago. Yep. And then they also have um, in Chicago the building where the World of Whirlpool. That's right, the yes. World of Whirlpool. Fantastic showroom. Yeah, it's just amazing. If you're ever in Chicago, you know, stop by and take a look at World, World of Whirlpool. It's really quite an amazing place. So thanks a bunch, Tom. You I'm have so to, glad. That you, you have to come by the booth at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. Because we're doing the Great American Truck Giveaway. Oh my gosh, that's right. So okay. So at 11 a.m., the booth is going to be packed again. Okay. So one lucky winner out of 14 finalists, we're going to hand out 14 keys. And one of those keys will open the door to the truck, and it's going to be a great event. Super, Can't that's miss great. It. We'll be there live for sure. So, okay, welcome to, uh, and thank you to Tom. We'll be over there at 11 o'clock tomorrow, and I'll be back in about 10 minutes with another interview.